guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to Coco's Cucina. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and all of my videos. And thank you for being the subscribers that you are. Guys, today we are going to get started real quick here with a shrimp etouffee. So what I am starting out with now is my roux slash gravy. So I'm starting out with my onions that are sliced, which is a half an onion. I have garlic and butter and garlic oil. So we're going to saute those onions and garlic in the butter and garlic oil until the onions are translucent. And as a thickening agent, guys, I like and prefer potato starch. You can use whatever you desire. If you desire flour, that's fine. But I'm using potato starch and I used approximately two heaping tablespoons of potato starch. Basically guys, all I'm doing is just making sure my starch is mixed in with my butter and my oil and my onions and my garlic. And I want to try to get a kind of a, a medium brown color. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to cook this starch until it changes colors just a little bit guys it's not going to be like really really noticeable you're going to get the change in color more so from your seasonings your creole seasonings that you'll be adding to this but the most important thing about this particular process guys is what i'm doing right now and that is stirring you're gonna have to just keep stirring your roux mixture, your gravy mixture, guys, so that it does not burn. You wanna be very mindful of that. I know it gets a little tiring, but that's what we have to do. Um, just continue to move it around and just keep stirring, guys. You know, and when it get to a point to where you're like, okay, I'm good with this. I can go ahead and add my seasonings. Then, uh, yes, you can go ahead and add your seasonings. But you're still going to have to be consistent with your stirring. You're not going to be able to stop doing the stirring part of this whole process, okay? Um, so... Here in just a moment, guys, it looks like these onions are translucent and soft enough so I can start adding my seasonings. So these are some of the seasonings, guys, that I choose to use. You choose whatever you like, but these are the seasonings that I will be adding to my shrimp etouffee. So I am going to go ahead now and get my cayenne pepper sprinkled in. I'm going to add that. I'm going to add my Old Bay seasoning to it. You know, that's my alter ego. Can't do without Old Bay. And then I'm going to add my Trinity Shake. My Trinity Shake is my dried um, onion, celery, and dried green pepper. So just use that according to your taste. And then I'm going to add my Paul Toucheron um, Creole seasoning and then my Tony's Creole seasonings. And then we're going to go ahead and just continue to stir this, guys. <laughs> we want these seasonings now to be able to cook into the flour. I'm sorry. The uh, rice. Mmm the potato starch guys the potato starch the onion and the garlic we want everything to be incorporated so now is the broth time guys now we're getting closer to our gravy slash roux so we're going to add a little bit of this vegetable broth again you add whatever you like that's my choice right now. So I'm going to add a little bit of the vegetable broth until I feel like it's the consistency that I want. So I'm going to add just a little bit more because I don't want my consistency to be like extremely thick. I want it to be like in the middle of the road. I want it to be 
kind of sort of not running, but in the middle of the road. I don't want it thick and I don't want it thin because once I um, pair it over my rice, guys, I want it to, it's gonna sit in the refrigerator too. So I don't want it to like be extremely thick. So now is the good time. Now we're gonna add our shrimp. These shrimp were frozen, but I went ahead and unthawed those guys, rinsed them and let them drain. These shrimp are from Aldi and they are the Argentine shrimp. They're the red Argentine shrimp. And they have a very, very nice taste to them, guys. And they're very meaty, very um, nice sized shrimp as well. So now what we're doing now, guys, I'm going to crank up that heat just a little bit. Now, I don't want to cook my shrimp very long. I'm going to tell you that right now. So I'm only going to crank up that heat just enough to thicken it up just a bit more. And after that, guys, it goes completely off and I remove this off of that burner because it can the shrimp will cook in the roux after the uh the temperature has been cut off so yeah we're just gonna like stir it just a few more minutes guys crank it up a little bit cut it off and like for real it's done all right and so we're just going to let that sit to the side for just a minute to cool down that's the argentine red shrimp from aldi's absolutely wonderful you've got to try them if you haven't already so guys this is my finished results um that the roux slash gravy is absolutely wonderful if you have not tried shrimp etouffee guys i do recommend it over a bed of rice, you can't go wrong. Thank you for watching this video, guys. Thank you for watching Coco's Teaching. And until the next time, guys, remain sweet and kind. All right? Bye for now.